What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and today I'm going to talk about what many of you are probably doing. You have an outdoor antenna and you want to hook it to multiple TV sets so you use one of these little unpowered splitters that came with your house that you used for cable. It's not always the best idea I'm going to tell you exactly why. If you have an outdoor antenna, two main ways you can be losing signal is through the run of a coax cord. Sometimes it's not too significant, only if your stations are very weak. But what really impacts the signal is using these unpowered splitters because each time you split the signal, that takes away some of the signal to the point that if you use too many splitters, you can get very bad reception or even lose some channels. To explain this better, think of your antenna as a water faucet, and water is coming from the cable, just pretend it's a pipe, going through these splits. Now the water can be coming in strong through here, but when it comes out two, it's not going to be as strong. And then once it comes out three ways, it's even less, and the point that if you do four ways, you're not getting any water at all. Several months ago, I installed an antenna, and the guy neglected to tell me that he was looking to hook into five TV sets. And I told him, listen, each time you split the signal, you're going to lose some of that signal to the point you may lose some channels. And the way to resolve that is to buy a distribution amp. And he was like, okay, no big deal. Buy the amp. You can hook up the antenna for now to these little unpowered splitters and see what I get. In a nutshell, he got about 16 channels compared to 30 that I was getting up at the antenna. And they weren't coming in the best. He got a lot of dropouts and a little no signal bar. So if you have an antenna and it's hooked into these unpowered splitters, I can guarantee you it's degrading your signal and you might even be losing some channels as a result. So here in my living room, I have the TV tuned to what's usually a weaker station, WBRE 28 Scranton Wilkesbury. Right now, it's hooked in directly with a coupler, so it's not being split in any direction. You can see the picture's all right. It's not breaking up or anything. Once I hooked up an unpowered two-way splitter, the signal was pretty bad. It wasn't really that watchable. And when I hooked in the three-way splitter, you couldn't even get anything at all. It was just a jumbled mess of pixels. I found in some situations if the signals are strong enough and you don't really have any very weak stations, a two-way splitter can do the job. You know, it will degrade the signal a little bit, but if the signal's strong enough, it won't matter that much. But I discovered that three, four, eight-way splitters significantly degrade the signal, as you just saw. And if you're looking to hook into multiple TV sets like this and you don't want to lose the signal, one option you do have is to buy a distribution amplifier. Not only do these models prevent signal loss from splitting between multiple TV sets, they also add a little bit of power to compensate for any loss you might get in a long coax run. So if you have the splitter in your basement and you have a TV all the way on the other side of the house on the second floor, that long cable run can lose some of the signal, but if you buy one of those distribution amps, that won't be a problem at all. So hopefully I was able to educate you on why the unpowered splitters aren't always a good idea. Some of you may be able to get away with them if you're really close to the broadcast towers, but most of you that are between 30, 50, even 70 miles from the broadcast towers, you need to keep as much of that signal from the antenna as you can run into your TV set. And if a preamp isn't an option, the distribution amp is a good idea. Now, if you happen to live in the northeastern, southeastern, central Pennsylvania area, feel free to check out my website. It's antennamanpa.com. If you're looking for an antenna installation, I'd be willing to help. Sometimes I'm willing to travel further for a small fee. Subscribe to my channel for more cord cutting updates and have an awesome day.